Hey everybody, Doc Justice here with True Homestead. Today we're sitting down with Judge Scott Janowitz. Mr. Janowitz is running for Group 42 for the Circuit Court Miami-Dade. Judge Janowitz, thank you so much for giving him your time today. Could you please tell our readers a little about yourself and why they should vote for you? Sure, thank you for having me. I, I welcome everyone. I'm glad to be joining you by, by Zoom um, and to demonstrate it. And actually, I want to talk about a little bit about what being a judge means and, and a little bit about myself so I can get your support. Um, let me just start with what I've done the last two years. Well, actually, let me start with what a judge means. Being a judge, because a lot of people don't understand, is a really important task because we're the ones that need to decide what the law says and what it means. And we're the ones that, you know, when you come to court, we decide what law applies to a case. And we also have to handle dockets because justice delayed is justice denied. And we need to make sure that we resolve disputes as efficiently as possible so that everyone can go about their day. And so it's important. We deal with the people in community. And in county court, 53% of my cases, at least one side does not have an attorney. So we deal with the people directly all the time. And the other thing is I have to deal with the jury trials and understanding the rules of evidence. And so it's important when you're thinking about who should be your judge. So when I became a judge two years ago, I uh, took my technology background and I was one of the people who helped pivot the uh, circuit to Zoom um, because obviously we're in the middle of a pandemic and we needed to get access to people. And it's everyone loves it. It's been great. And in fact, civil, whether it's circuit or county, 95% of what you do in, in, in civil is going to remain on Zoom going forward indefinitely. And I think it's something we've been able to add and reach out to the people to prevent four-hour drives to, for traffic, parking, paying attorneys a couple hours extra. It gets us really access right to the meat, uh, meat of, of, of the issues. The other thing I've done is there was a big housing crisis when I took the bench in May of 2020. And I wanted to, to change that because for a lot of people, the first notice they know they've been evicted is a knock on the sheriff's door saying you have 24 hours to leave. And they have got kids and it's a strain on social resources and they're ending up in homeless shelters, et cetera, et cetera. So I went to the Board of County Commissioners. I went and got funding and we started what's called the Court Housing uh, Eviction Landlord Tenant Portal, Court Help. And the idea of it is it gets landlords and tenants to actually talk about and communicate and resolve it. Because if a tenant gets an eviction, they're not even eligible for Section 8 housing anymore. And it's a permanent stain on their record. So what we've been able to do is even if a person has to leave, a tenant can't afford it anymore. You can always reach an agreement. That's wonderful. But if you need to leave, at least we can reach out an agreement on how long. And it's an easy process. Hundred, uh, Almost I think every case that's gone into it has resolved. And we're trying to expand that into, say, consumer debt cases. And that's one of the things I'm trying to do in my next term. But that's that's something I did and I led. And I was the team lead of that for the for the whole court system. And I'm, I'm very proud of it. Um, you know, the other thing is that I'm an associate administrative judge, which I became after less than one year, which is pretty unprecedented. Actually, the, the next most recent judge is, I think, eight years experience. So I'm proud of these things. And it means I'm, I manage the other judges. I'm the team lead for county civil. Um, you know, and so that's what I've done as your county court judge and what I want to keep doing those things. A little bit of background about myself, just so you have an understanding. Born and raised here in Miami. I went to Carnegie Mellon for, for school where I studied computers and I was actually a business and technology consultant, which I bring those resources today. After law school, I went, I wanted to come back home and I wanted to be a lawyer. Went to the University of Miami and I paid for it myself. And I took my $150,000 worth of loans. And I said, now I'm going to go do public service. And I, I worked as a prosecutor for, for, for three and a half years, where I did everything from DUIs to first degree homicides. After that, I switched um, being uh, into a private practice, and I did civil, both sides, civil and def uh, the defense side as well as plaintiff. And on the plaintiff side, I represented people uh, with their insurance claims and small businesses as well. So I really brought all that, um, and I really cared about the community and People had, I had a good reputation. I was, I'm AV rated uh, uh, in both insurance and criminal law. And because of my dedication to the, in service and my, my scholarship, I eventually was a, uh, appointed judge by, Ron DeS by Governor DeSantis in 2020. And so those are some of the, that's a little bit of a history as sort of a, in a nutshell. You know, why I want people to vote for me as opposed to, you know, uh, my opponent is I'm the only candidate with civil experience, judicial experience, and an AV rated. I'm actually currently licensed as attorney in Florida, Georgia, and, and Colorado. As an attorney, I have 86 trials, and as a judge, I've had 60 trials. I've never been reversed, um, and and so that goes to show that I actually believe in the law and I and I care about the law. Uh, I'm proud to be endorsed by many organizations and people on both sides of the aisle. And quite frankly, hopefully that you, you can see from all that, you can go to my website at at, at judgejanowitz.com, and you can see um, other things that I've done. And I appreciate everyone's time and. 
my number is 103, and so hopefully you'll you'll keep me on the bench for 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 another term. So I thank you very much for having me. No, we we really appreciate your time. I know my readers really do. This is, these are the most important races, and they get no coverage. So you and the other judges have come out. We can't thank you enough. Um, I'm really excited. I, you know, I, I've had a lot of pro se litigation in the Eleventh Circuit, and most of the judges are good, but the way pro se's get treated sometimes is hit and miss depending on the judge. And so I'm very excited and encouraged that, you know, you deal with pro se's a lot and you know how to handle it properly. And, and I would also like to thank you for helping organ, orchestrate us doing things by Zoom and making sure we stay on Zoom in the future. It, it's so much more efficient for everybody. If I can, just end that one of the things we're also working on right now, which you may be excited about, is we're trying to find a way to push more resources out into the public libraries so that people don't even have to go to the courtrooms for, for the forms, to appear on Zoom if they don't have the ability. So we're really trying to make sure that access to the courts is not always through an attorney and that everyone feels comfortable because, quite frankly, a lot of people who don't have an attorney feel scared and have no idea what's going on, and that puts them at a disadvantage. That, that was me for a while. Judge Genoa, again, we really appreciate you and can't thank you enough for your time. Before we check out real quick, is there any place our readers can find more information about you? Absolutely. You can go to my uh, website, which is uh, Judge Janowitz, and uh, also I think Judge Scott Janowitz is my Facebook handle for my campaign. So I think you can go to either of those two places, and uh, you'll be able to learn a lot more about me. And I really appreciate uh, the chance to come on here, and I appreciate everyone's opportunity to earn your support for another term. Again, we really thank you, sir, and Godspeed and God bless. Thank you very much.